Dear colleagues, hello once again. Well, my colleague has already explained uh, the importance of treatment of hepatocellular uh, cancer or HCC. Uh, uh, different systems, different uh, complications of um, hepatocellular uh, cancer or HCC. There are two in Russian. That's TNM, the historical and academic classification, and the main uh, working uh, classification, the Barcelona classification that we should use. Um, as for Barcelona classification, here not only the stages and general status of the patients are described, uh, but methods of uh, treatment um, as well. Today we'll talk about the interim stage, stage B. I really like this uh, pyramid of a transplantologist, Jacob Leroute, has uh, all the existing methods of treatment of hepatocellular cancer, from nothing, supportive care, up to complete uh, uh, treatment, uh, transplantation, or incurable resection of um, uh, uh, liver. But the author put question marks over there whether uh, these methods really work. In the last decade, uh, the uh, five-year survival doesn't uh, improve even after the liver transplantation. It used to be from 30 to 60 percent, and it remained the same. The main indications for chemobilization of liver artery of uh, patients in interim stage, it's a palliative therapy. The alternative um, of uh, patients in case of uh, somatic contraindications, also group A patients may be here, bridge therapy before uh, transplantation. and. Um, uh, the urgent mobilization in case of rupture and uh, bleeding. The main contraindications is extra uh, uh, liver uh, dissemination, and uh, that's rather conditional. If the metastasis is in lungs, one centimeter most likely, and the bigger tumor in liver, most uh, likely the patient will die from the main tumor, not from the metastasis. So uh, he has to be treated. HEPA method. Um, uh, provides a long, high concentration chemo therapy in the tumor. The first uh, passage effect plus ischemia effect. Uh, the conventional or classical uh, that's oil chemo embolization select for retaining of a drug in uh, the tumor uh, based on the anatomy of uh, tumor vessels. We use a liquid pad. Doxorubicin or metamycin uh, C uh, plus the hemostatic uh, sponge. Courses one time in every th uh, two, three months uh, plus uh, a CT MRI for the follow up. So you shouldn't be scared of a peer idol. Uh, they believe it's forbidden in our country. It's not forbidden. Just in the Russian uh, guidelines, uh, there are no indications for chemobilization. Well, in the European one, it does say for chemobilization, for stopping of uh, bleeding, uh, plus uh, using cyanocrylate uh, In any uh, hospital, there's an ethical uh, committee. And basing on this um, instruction, they can use lipidol for clinical practice in this hospital. It's okay to use that. Uh, side effects and complications, post embolization syndrome, that's uh, clear. It uh, reminds uh, uh, the uh, um, um, a bile. Stone uh, disease, uh, as for the important one, there may be acute renal um, uh, uh, failure, a uh, rupture, at embolization, and uh, cholangitis, acute or uh, chronic. Um, out of um, uh, uh, um, uh, liver, uh, that's uh, uh, due to the errors of um, a radiologist. Of course, you have to have a good history of disease. If there had been anastomosis with damage of sphincter, then the risk of such complications uh, goes up um, manifold. Here is a classic example of chemical embolization, three nodes in both the lobes of uh, the um, liver. Oil is uh, entered into cystica. 
um, artery and the, uh, the uh, sponge used, and you see the uh, pictures of CT before embolization, a month later, and four months later. You can see lipidol is uh, located compactly and it's smaller in size. So that's a classical conventional response uh, when lipidol is an already dead tumor. In the beginning of this century, uh, the uh, drug saturated spheres appeared at the market. This made radiologists very enthusiastic. Everybody said we're going to treat the hepatocellular cancer. HCC, as these spheres have no systemic toxicity, thus maximum doses may be brought to the tumor. At embolization with spheres, there's achieved a higher local response, but after a while, with experience, it proved that everything is not so uh, positive, and um, the method uh, may compete with uh, oil chemoembolization. However, it may have complications, even um, death uh, may be uh, caused pancreatitis, cholecystitis, and others. But the survival median in this group of patients was uh, distinctly higher. That's Katarina Malagari. Experience of the uh, patient selection was made uh, was very precise. Good selection of patients, so one could make a super super selective mobilization with those spheres. And that five year survival in uh, class E cirrhosis it makes us happy. Twenty five percent. This is comparable with uh, liver transplantation. At accumulation of experience, remote results. Um, or more or less the same, whether it's saturated spheres or oil embolization. As of today, there's an interesting review by Riccardo Lincioni, analysis of 10,000 uh, patients uh, with uh, cirrhosis and uh, chemoembolization. Interesting data that correlate absolutely with our results. Uh, liver uh, failure is the most frequent complication, next uh, bleeding and next uh, rupture. So all the patients uh, for chemobilization are, are controlled for FGS, and if necessary, we um, uh, do treat uh, the expanded veins of uh, esophagus. We compared the results of treatment before the year 2000, that's the conventional treatment period, and after the year 2002, when both oil selective embolization was used and uh, saturation sphere embolization was used as well. Our general survival is practically the same. After 2002, when used selectively, the increase uh, in uh, three-year survivability is higher than two times. Uh, in South Asia, survivability is uh, better than for European, and there is a difference between classical oil-based uh, uh, fields. Uh, there are there is no difference. In the year uh, 90s, uh, 1990s, uh, we compared uh, the uh, chemo infusion, the classical oil-based uh, and uh, oil-based uh, with mechanical components. And if you regulate the oil uh, chemo embolization with a hemostatic sponge, gives a 33% of uh, three-year survivability. And we were inspired for future research. However, these patients didn't have significant liver cirrhosis. Chemo infusion into liver uh, vein uh, artery, excuse me, doesn't help these patients. Um, um, more difficult uh, patient group, uh, cirrhosis A to C, selective embolizations delivered. The repeat interventions only when uh, there was a proved progression. We used uh, oil embolization and uh, impregnant and spheres. Uh, if there were nodes uh, between one to three, up to six. Uh, uh, centimeters. Uh, an example of using uh, uh, oil-based uh, embolization, uh, uh, good uh, um, accumulation of drug in the tumor, 30 months uh, uh, of was the remi remission, and then a new node in the left lobe of the liver appeared. Selective embolization was delivered, and then progression, and the new Note in the fourth uh, segment, we change the drug, chemisin C. Unfortunately, the patient 
died uh, 17 months uh, after the treatment, but uh, due to the um, stroke, um, to the cerebral stroke, not uh, due to cancer. Selectively impregnated uh, um, spheres in hepatic arterial hemoembolization. Say, as you see, the remission was for 20 months, and then new nodes uh, were embolized with oil spheres. The patient died in 40, 46 months uh, due to the um, duodenal ulcer bleeding. And th there is, uh, um, there are important uh, complications, uh, and uh, two percent uh, the uh, have the increase uh, of um, liver insufficiency. Patients uh, had uh, coagulopathy and needed uh, the surgery. Uh, the progression, uh, in fact, happened only in 25 percent of the patients. The rest uh, responded. The three years availability was at 15 percent, and the average um, survivability is uh, 22 months. Uh, therefore, the overall is 15 months. Hepatocellular um, uh, cancer, it, when complicated with cirrhosis, uh, we do not use uh, um, this method uh, solo, just uh, uh, with um, um, embolization, and uh, because uh, uh, um, the um, liver is not intact, we use uh, open uh, surgery, not laparoscopic, because uh, we need to view the field to identify the node in this liver condition. Criteria in treatment for intermediate stage, we use Barcelona classification up to seven, so to say. Masafera came up with this criteria for liver transplantation, but we um, decided to use it for our patients. So, in fact, transplantation is possible, uh, but uh, not in our specific patients uh, due to age or comorbidities. In fact, uh, um, we saw uh, the 231 procedures were delivered, and uh, half of our patients uh, had uh, a complete or near complete response. Uh, HACA used for at PASIA, for patient with cirrhosis. If uh, CT MRI shows uh, vascularization and uh, patient has uh, hepatitis based uh, cirrhosis, then no biopsy is needed. However, local uh, oncologist here decided uh, to biopsy the patient, and he spent uh, a month in intensive care u unit, but uh, he survived luckily. And then the, uh, the selective embolization was delivered. Uh, I received this patient MRI uh, one week ago, and the central tumor part is absolutely dead. It has no contrast inside. So we see um, by, uh, by radio method uh, the partial response. And uh, embolization of um, nodes in the first uh, pay, uh, liver um, segment. Uh, embolization was done uh, in uh, 2017 with a complete response. Uh, remission lasted for uh, 48 months. Uh, the uh, and this is the slide I wanted to show. If you didn't know where the tumor was, uh, so the CT uh, doesn't indicate uh, uh, to you where to look for. And this is up to seven. The one uh, um, tumor node uh, in the fourth uh, segment, we started with cementing, and uh, uh, daughter nodes uh, had three embolization, and we have uh, the patient in remission for nine months. Uh, 80% of our patients uh, are still alive. Um, on average, 22 months, we haven't reached the median. Mediana, uh, we believe, we hope that uh, f the five-year survivability uh, will be at least compared uh, to uh, liver transportation. Having new tools, uh, uh, we see the progress in uh, uh, advances and methodology. We have super selective um, technique and patient follow-up resulted in reaching Mediana of 18 months and 
hopefully uh, five uh, years of availability, survivability will look nice. Uh, we need the multidisciplinary team. Uh, Team uh, super selective methodology is uh, um, safe compared to class of uh, the lethality is just uh, the mortality is just two percent uh, in and an increase uh, um, up to twenty two percent uh, the uh, complete response. So we need uh, uh, remission and we need to combine uh, with uh, target and immune therapy. So. Uh, here is the case, female patient, uh, um, pay for, she was uh, uh, sent to uh, transplantation, but uh, we delivered super selective uh, transplantation, and then uh, we did uh, uh, TIT with bypass, and then uh, autotopic uh, uh, Transplantation of Leo patient uh, uh, is uh, uh, followed for 42 months. Uh, she has like three or four children and uh, she lives happily and raises her children. I will wish you all just the same. Thank you.